Welcome to the Buck Stops here. I'm Barkha Dad. The big political story tonight, the demonetization debate has taken a firmly political twist. What Rahul Gandhi threatened to say in parliament but did not, he said at a public rally today accusing the Prime Minister of corruption and quoting from alleged diaries of the Sahara and Birla business houses and talking about an alleged payoff to the Prime Minister when he was the Chief Minister of Gujarat. A payoff that he said amounted in one case to 40 crore rupees and in another case to 12 crore rupees with 13 crores of payments pending. The BJP is hitting back, it's rubbishing the allegation and saying that Rahul Gandhi is beginning to show his desperation. Union Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad said that this panic has set in because the Augusta Western scam has resurfaced and the Gandhi Parivar, which the BJP says is implied in an entry called FAM or family, is now getting implicated in that scam. Ravi Shankar Prasad said the Prime Minister was as clean as the Ganga to which the Congress hit back and said, well, the Ganga is polluted. In a moment from now, we will hear exactly what Rahul Gandhi said. Is this the earthquake that he was threatening? The BJP at least is saying there have been no tremors at all. Listen in. Six months, six months, no bar, the people of Sahara have written in their diary that Narendra Modi ji ko paisa diya hai. Ab Narendra Modi ji, aap do teen cheeze mujhe bataiye. Income tax logon ne kaha hai. इन कागजों पे इंक्वायरी होनी चाहिए ढाई साल से इंक्वायरी क्यों नहीं हुई इंफॉर्मेशन जो इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट के पास है क्या यह सच है और अगर यह सच है तो इस पर इंक्वायरी कब होगी ऐसी ही ऐसा ही एक कंप्यूटर रिकॉर्ड बिरला कंपनी का उसमें साफ लिखा हुआ है गुजरात सीएम 25 करोड़ 12 करोड़ हो गए बाकी क्वेश्चन मार्क और राइट इनफैक्ट राहुल गांधी विद दोज एलिगेशन इज repeating and recycling what Arvind Kejriwal, Delhi's Chief Minister, first said and what Prashant Bhushan, who has his own political party, took to court. Let's see what the court, in fact, had to say about this. The court was very, very clear that this material, which is referred to loosely as the Sahara Birla diary entries, is not material that, in fact, proves anything. Can we please bring up that graphic? Uh, the court is actually making it very, very clear that this is not acceptable material to proceed on. So I have two things happened here. One, Rahul Gandhi recycling allegations that have already been made and allegations that have so far at least not been accepted by the Supreme Court. In that case is the much promised earthquake a bit of an anticlimax. There is also another awkward question for the Congress. These papers that Mr. Gandhi has used to attack the Prime Minister also have references to Congress leaders. They have references in one case to what appears to be a reference to Jayanti Natarajan, a former minister in the UPA, and in another case what appears to be a reference to Sheila Dixit. There you can see that on your screen. So is that a bit of a self-goal? Remember, Sheila Dixit is uh, the UPCM candidate for the Congress party. On this latest attack on the Prime Minister by Rahul Gandhi, where does that leave the politics and the debate around demonetization? On our panel today, Sambit Patra of the BJP is with us, Randeep Surjewala of the Congress is with us, Yugendra Yadav is with us. Remember, his party's Prashant Bhushan is the person who took this entire case uh, to the Supreme Court, but the court has not accepted uh, these papers as proof enough yet. Uh, Dhrinesh Trivedi of the Trinamool Congress is uh, with us as well. In a moment from now, R. Jagannathan of Swaraj magazine and Suhail Sid uh, will also be joining us. I will, uh, I will start with Randeep Surjewala. Randeep, is this the earthquake? Is this the balloon uh, that Rahul Gandhi uh, was promising to float, the earthquake that was going to bring tremors? Because all of this has in fact been known for over a month. The Delhi chief minister first went on record with it in an interview to me. Uh, Prashant Bhushan took it to court. What is the new thing that Mr. Gandhi has in fact said, Randeep? Uh, Barkha, I think you are turning the question on its head. The simple question to ask is whether or not these, this, these papers which reflect payment of money 
to the Prime Minister are correct or wrong. Whether Prime Minister took money or he did not take money. Whether or not uh, the raids that were conducted on Sahara and Bidla led to recovery of not diaries as your channel is saying, but to computer Excel sheets from Sahara Group and from computer record including email from Bidla Group. Right. Are right or wrong? Credibility of Prime Minister is at stake. Simple question that he has to answer without getting angry, without using expletives, without getting rattled and unnerved as BJP presently is, whether Modi ji took money, as Sahara and Bidla papers are saying, or Modi ji did not take money. And if he did not take money, yes. why should he not subject himself yes. to a fair and independent probe? I will That's ask, the short question. I will put that, that short to question to the BJP in a moment. But Randeep, those very papers that you are holding up, those exact papers do have references to at least two leaders that seem to belong to your party. Jayanti Natarajan in the Birla papers, allegedly, and Sheila Dixit, <coughs> allegedly, in the Sahara payoffs. These are the same papers you have used to target the Prime Minister. I would imagine then that your own leaders, and you know that those names exist, those references exist, are also ready for the same scrutiny that you want the Prime Minister to be put through. Well, you ask a valid question and your, your channel earlier in the day asked me the same question and I answered it very simply. Which is? The same paper also has names of Raman Singh. The same paper also has names of Shaina NC five times, BJP three times and Shivraj Singh Chauhan two times. Yes. Please investigate everybody. Yes. Why not? After all, we are here for creating transparency and accountability in the political system. Whichever party the names belong to, yes. by chance overwhelmingly these are BJP names and BJP headquarters, so in fact BJP president would also have to be investigated, considering that credibility of prime minister, a prime minister who swears by me na khaunga na khane dunga is at stake, why should an independent probe not be done and all these cases can also then be referred simultaneously and conduct of all these persons can also be proved. All right, all right, That's all. Why get unnerved, rattled and throw muck? Sambit Patra, are you unnerved, rattled and, 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 and throwing muck? Randeep Surjewala is acknowledging that there is a reference to four chief ministers in one set of papers. The chief ministers, well, it says CMs. I want to be very accurate here because we don't know whether these papers are genuine, but certainly we've all uh, had a look at them now for many weeks and, and they do refer to the CMs of Delhi, MP Chhattisgarh and Gujarat. That Gujarat reference is what the Congress today has picked up and made about the Prime Minister when he was Chief Minister. Incidentally, the papers also say Modi ji, right. in, only in case of Gujarat. Please, okay. please, let's read it carefully. Yes, Sambit, go ahead. Number one, uh, you would agree to the fact that the premise of this debate is that there are certain papers which the Congress party calls as evidence or alleged evidence and what they want is an investigation. Now, you'd also agree to the fact that all of us put together, the anchor and all the panelists put together, have less wisdom within the span of the one-hour debate than the wisdom of our Supreme Court bench, yes. comprising of two justices, Justice Keher yes. and Justice Mishra. Yes. Justice Keher to become the Chief Justice of India after 31st of December. Yes. With all these two premises, let me submit certain facts and no political rhetorics. Okay. I'm not shattered, I'm not unnerved. <laughs> With all technicalities, I sit over here. Okay. When all these papers, which the Congress calls as evidence, these papers were in fact put by Prashant Bhushan's NGO Common Cause yes. before the Supreme Court. Yes. This is what the Supreme Court initially observed. The first opening line of observation was, I quote, you have filed a petition on a serious allegation in a non-serious manner. After seeing all these evidences, the Supreme Court's judge concluded that this was a non-serious way of putting forth a serious allegation. Then they went ahead because the Sahara entries which the Congress proclaims to be of extreme usage yes. and what they call as the prime evidence. To this, the Supreme Court judges said, I quote, Sahara Group documents are not genuine. They are fictitious, zero and not authentic. We cannot start an investigation based on these evidence. Barkha, do you need any more quotations? I have a slew of quotations, observations of the Supreme Court. Yes. When the Supreme Court itself says that these papers are nothing but fictitious and zero, 
and we cannot start an investigation. Need I say more? This is an earthquake which is zero on the Richter scale. Okay, I will allow Randeep a brief uh, interjection there and then uh, Suhail and our Jagannathan have also joined the panel. We do need to open it up. Randeep, uh, it is true that the court has not accepted these papers placed by Prashant Bhushan as amounting to reasonable evidence and therefore these papers by themselves, the court has held, do not prove a thing. Now for Rahul Gandhi to raise them and as I said, one month after Arvind Kejriwal has, one month after they've been through the Supreme Court, you know, this seems, this seems... This doesn't even seem to be an earthquake that causes a crack because all of this material has been available in the public domain. I'm extremely happy that you asked this question and my friend rightfully said that he's sitting with all the technicalities. Either Mr. Modi can hide behind technicalities of evidence, either Mr. Modi can sometimes he hides behind speakers, sometimes behind majority in parliament. Simple thing is, why can't the prime minister of the country say he took the money or he did not take the money? That's that's a question that BJP is refusing to answer over and over. But Number will two, Sheila should answer last, the question that yes or no also? Will Jayanti Natarajan answer the same question? Will you put the same question to Please, Raman Singh? Why, why Singh not? Han? All of these names are why, in these papers. Why, why, why should that question not be asked by you? All that I'm also saying, last when I checked the constitution of India, Supreme Court or any other court speaks through its judgments. Okay. I have practiced for 20 years law myself. Okay. Any observation made by a judge while questioning the counsel on the merits of the claim is not judgment of the court. Court has delivered no judgment in this case. This. So let's stop misleading the country. Okay, I want to no, I, I, don't I, I, hide behind technicality. Don't don't, don't hide behind this. Don't hide the, behind no. observation. Okay, no. okay, okay, so I really need you to come in for okay, 20 Sambit, seconds. One sentence, Just 20 let's be seconds. fair to the others. Okay, these Sambit. are serious allegations and this needs to be settled down. Okay. Number one, Mr. Randeep Surjewala, an educated person, should never use the phrase like don't hide behind the Supreme Court. Any person who is trustworthy, any person who believes in honesty can naturally fall on the highest body of judicial that is the Supreme Court. It is not hiding behind Supreme Court. Supreme Court refers only to facts. And secondly, when you say don't mislead the country, these are only observations of the Supreme Court. Let me correct you, my friend, though I am not a lawyer, but the Supreme Court observations in this case are in wanting of further evidences. That means the evidences that have been submitted okay. by the previous uh, PIL holder, that is Prashant Bhushan, were insufficient and they said, if you have any other evidence, please submit that. If you have those let evidences, me, let's open why make now. a hue and cry in the public? Let's why don't you go up. with those Supreme evidences? Okay, okay, I need to move on. Judgment, not Randeep through and observation. Sambit, please allow others to speak now. I'll go to Yogendra Yadav now. And Yogendra, your party's role is particularly pertinent here because your fellow party colleague, Prashant Bhushan, has led this uh, on behalf of his NGO in the court. And the court has been quite, quite clear. The court said, in fact, you take this back. You come when you have some better material. This is zero, zero material. It is only an insinuation. Now, the fact of the matter is, Yogendra, we all remember the Jain Hawala uh, uh, case and the judgment from the Supreme Court. Whether it's, and the BJP may not like this, whether it's Guido Hashki and Christian Michel's alleged papers in the Augusta West Westland case, or it is these documents by themselves, diary entries or scribbles of, you know, amounts of money against a name, the court has a precedent, cannot be accepted as proof. What then is really going on here? And as a political party, how do you see Rahul Gandhi echoing what your party and Arvind Kejriwal brought up, I think, over a month ago? Uh, Barkha, in a sense, uh, Mr. Rahul Gandhi is making those allegations in the public rally have actually created a loud distraction today, which may have taken away something from the seriousness of the case. A, because his party enjoys zero credibility when it comes to talking about corruption. B, in this case, his own uh, people are uh, named there. C, some of the evidence dates back to UPA days. Uh, and the question is, why did they not make it public at that point? So I wouldn't take that very seriously. All the evidence that was put, with all the allegations that are made by Rahul Gandhi today or were discussed by Arvind Kejriwal in Delhi Assembly, none of them added an iota to what Prashant Bhushan has put on affidavit and had put in the court. So let's discuss the serious question. Let's not get distracted into these things. Okay. The question, if the question is, is there a conclusive evidence to prove that the Prime Minister of India had taken money? The answer is no. As of now, no. Okay. 
okay. but that's not the question you ask at the beginning of investigation. Yes. What is being asked here is, is there sufficient material to begin to think that an inquiry needs to be conducted? Right. Fortunately, the Supreme Court of India has laid down the law, which continues to be the case, law of the land, unless the Supreme Court in its wisdom changes in the month of January. Remember, okay. they have given no judgment so far. The law of the land is, as was laid down in Jayad Hawala case, and has, has been strengthened in, by the constitutional bench in 2016. Yes. It says that when ordering investigation, you do not examine the veracity of the evidence. You simply say, if this evidence were to be available, if it was true, does it amount to a serious case? Okay. That's what the Supreme okay, Court I of India says. Okay, I think that's a very fair point. And, I want the and in the case of Jain Hawala, and yeah. in the case of Jain Hawala, Supreme Court actually laid down that all such allegations need to be investigated. Yes. Remember, yes. in the case of Jain Hawala diary, there were only initials. In this case, there are names, there are dates, there are persons who have delivered. Yes. And yes, of course, this, to my mind, constitutes enough of a basis to investigate. And so you, finally, so Barkha, yes. the real question that we must not shy away from is, irrespective of what the Supreme Court of India orders or does not order, is there, does that not raise a moral question, an ethical political question in any country of the world, if something like this were to come up, would the entire country not get up and say, oh my God, we need answers okay. to this? I, th no I, think, that's, I, th I think there's a fair question somewhere there about no conclusions, can, can no broad that? statements. Samit, 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 let's just be fair to the others who haven't spoken and I promise I'll come to you right after that. Dinesh Trivedi, Dinesh Trivedi, the Trinamool has asked for a probe. But there is a political question here. Yogendra may call it, uh, may call Rahul Gandhi's outburst a distraction, but there has been an attempt at opposition unity. I see cracks in this unity again. You have a, 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 a Delhi chief minister today who says Congress and BJP are like Mia Bibi. They're like husband and wife. It's all fixed between them. You have these papers targeting the prime minister, but also making references to, to someone as high profile as Sheila Dixit. Allegedly, I see again, does all of this not create a kind of piquant situation for the Trinamool Congress and for Mamta Banerjee, Mr. Trivedi? Barkha, Mamta Banerjee has been very, very, very clear on poverty in public life and the sufferings of the poorest of the poor because she really is one of them. And I don't <laughs> think so. We are getting into an issue whether the opposition is united or not united. The issue is very important whether it is demonetization or whether it's question of corruption. Very honestly, all these things which are happening today makes me very sad because it's not the credibility of one party or an individual or a minister or two or even the prime minister. I think the credibility of India is at stake and it makes us all feel as if all of us are corrupt. The entire India is corrupt, which is not the case. And I think we have to get out of this. And the best thing is let's everybody come out clear and clean. And you and I are not the investigating agency. So what are you suggesting, Neither Mr. the media is. What are you so suggesting? I think somewhere down the line, we need to have somebody with credibility. Unfortunately, today, whether it's Reserve Bank of India or investigation agencies, everybody, institutions are losing credibility, which is a sad point. Okay, so you're saying somebody must probe this, somebody with credibility. So, Hale, you were amused uh, at that moment when Dinesh Trivedi was speaking. What amuses you? Because, frankly, a real conversation around demonetization and its execution has now been overtaken uh, by this kind of threat of a quake, by bursting Prime Minister's balloon. These papers are already in court. I would have thought the best thing would be, A, let the court decide. Maybe if there's more material, let's place it in front of the court, A. Uh, B, I think Yogendra raises an interesting point. Nobody's drawing any conclusion, so let's have an overall probe. Sohail? You know, uh, there are three or four things. <clears throat> if Rahul Gandhi hadn't been the boy who cries wolf ever so often, his believability would be high. People would listen. Today, people mock. And that's a serious problem. It's an optics problem, it's a believability problem. Randeep is right that if allegations have been leveled against a prime minister of a country, those allegations need closure. But the closure is already underway in the highest court of the land, which is the Supreme Court. Okay. 
if Rahul Gandhi had been the kind of person who was a serious person, who would be taken seriously by the people of India, then perhaps there would be some, you know, measure of sobriety attached to his claim, hmm. which Yogendra, by the way, alluded to. There are two problems today with the Congress, as are with the others. So the reason why I was amused when Dinesh was talking about Mamta was Mamta herself is under a cloud because of Sharda. What happens with Sharda as we go along, we don't know. So the point I'm making is it's very easy to fling mud in this country. Why should the Prime Minister answer every question uh, that is posed to him? Okay. Why should he defend every allegation when, on many matters, every political party hides behind the veil of the court saying, oh, sorry, the matter is sub okay. So the key point, Barkha, is let's be more serious when we make allegations against people in public office, no matter who they are, where they belong, which party they owe their affiliation to. Okay. Whether it's people in the Congress, whether it's people in the BJP, the Trinamool. Today it's become a fashion of, you know, shoot and scoot. You're not responsible for leveling those allegations. No one sues you. I mean, there are people who are getting sued. But it's almost as if it's open season to say something in a public rally. Okay. I was told, I may be completely wrong, that the reason why Rahul earlier wanted to raise it in Parliament because because of immunity against defamation. Yeah. I don't know if it's true. Yeah. I don't know if he meant that. We'll put, the we'll point put, we'll... I'm making is our leaders need to be more believable in order to be believed. Yes. They need to be more serious in order to be taken seriously. They need to respect processes of law which are underway. Okay. Because if that doesn't happen, you are then denigrating every institution that is dear to the Republic of India. So you're saying it's become far too easy to throw muck, but let me take that to our Jagannathan. The, the argument, though, would be, as we heard Yogendra Yadav saying, is that this charge precedes Rahul Gandhi, that this charge has actually been taken to the Supreme Court, that there are documents that have been referenced, documents that were recovered in income tax raids, and actually the charge is that the income tax refused to investigate it, and the person at the helm of that op uh, of that probe uh, was then elevated. That is the charge. The court will decide uh, the merit or not of the charge. But is it fair, uh, R. Jagannathan, to make this only about Rahul Gandhi? Doesn't the charge precede Rahul Gandhi? Yes, I think so. I think Rahul uh, Gandhi only made a song and dance of it and talked about quakes when the quake had already happened with uh, demonetization on 8 November. I think what he basically need to do are two things. One, since a uh, lot of muck has been uh, raked up, it's worth having an investigation so that we can set the matter at rest. I think the right way to go about it is what Prashant Bhushan is trying to do, yeah. which is to uh, marshal his evidence, uh, convince the courts and say, okay, let's have a probe. And I think if that uh, goes beyond a point where he has uh, just a few diary entries, Certainly, I think the court might think, let's have the probe. But I think beyond that, I think it's very easy, as Sohel said, to keep on uh, throwing muck at people and, and expecting them to resign and uh, deal with it. After all, God's sake, he's got a country to run. I don't think the 20 allegations that have been made against him cannot all, he can't keep resigning every time something is said about him. I think we need to let the court decide it. And then I think if necessary, we have the investigation. Who should lead that investigation? Before I take that back to Sambit and, and Randeep uh, uh, Jagarathan, who should lead that investigation? I think uh, I would suppose that if it is a court monitor investigation done by the CBI, I think it would be fair enough. I think that's what uh, probably needs to be done. Mm -hmm. Because you can't have, uh, I mean, just like you had it in the case of uh, earlier situations where the court did uh, about but, but, uh, monitor certain coal yeah. probe and other things, you can yeah. probably can do I this. Can I please come in? Yeah. Yeah, let me, so, so he'll give me half a second. I just want to go to Sambit and, 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 and Randeep. Sambit, I want to ask you something. Just like the Congress has to reflect that these papers that they're using to attack the Prime Minister have references to some of their own, I will remind you that when Mr. Modi was opposition leader, uh, he had a phrase that, that, uh, that he used at a political rally that actually had great traction, and it was called Jayanti tax. You remember that, right? How did Jayanti tax uh, uh, emerge as a metaphor for, uh, for corruption? It actually emerged from these very same Birla documents. So I think as an observer, what I'm seeing is that both the Congress and the BJP seem to cherry pick from these papers, which is the point that Suhail is making, that you just take out what you want, you take out the bit that suits your narrative, and then you use it to fling mud at the other side. So the BJP and the Congress, the, the, the Congress Sambit has focused on, on the reference that says Modi in brackets, the BJP focused on the bits that refer to, uh, to, uh, to Jayanti Natarajan. 
See, whether the Congress during its uh, UPA reign was corrupt or not, in fact, we have enough song and saga on that, we have enough evidences on that, the courts have ruled enough on that, and that's the reason as to why they, yeah. are, they are what they are today, 44. So I would not be reflecting on the corruption story of the Congress because this is a serious issue. People of this country should be educated technically. I want to do that tonight. Number one, uh, uh, in fact, uh, Mr. Jagannath was saying that, well, because there is enough cry today, pe because people are throwing mud at each other, it's best that we investigate. And you question, Mr. Jagannath, who should investigate? Yes. Reflect back. When this question was act, uh, asked to the Congress often in the past about other cases, they would come out and say, let the Supreme Court monitor judge in, I mean, monitored investigation look into this whole thing. And in this case, we have a double judge bench Supreme Court reflecting upon the whole thing. No, I'm and just saying, when I'm these just saying that when Mr. Modi was opposition leader, he did coin the phrase Jayanti tax. No. It was based on these same papers. So all of you no, politicians no, it's not, it, tend it, it, to cherry pick. No, how do you know it is based on these papers? Just like Randeep today will not mention no. that Sheila Dixit is referenced in the same papers. So both of you cherry pick no. this. So Barkha, this is just politicizing a serious Barkha. matter like, like allegations of corruption. I think there's a, I think we have to be more serious before we we fling around these charges and both of you do it. But Barkha, Barkha, just a second, let me complete my answer. Barkha, remember here the key word is believability that Shuhail was speaking about. Yes. If Mr. Narendra Modi, after due diligence, after due homework, speaks about someone, even a single line of Mr. Narendra Modi is important. All the paragraphs of Mr. Rahul Gandhi is like a burst balloon because of the fact that he only copies and pastes from others' work and he does not do any kind of uh, diligence or homework before. That is, the, that is the word believability. So leave that to the people of this country. If Mr. Modi says something, people will believe it. If Mr. Rahul says something, he becomes an item of mockery. That is a matter of perception which is based on the conviction of the okay. two yeah. leaders. Okay. Number let me, two, let me bring it. technicality. Just a second. Please let me complete this one line on technicality because this is a technical issue. We are running around the bush despite the fact that we know that the Supreme Court has already given its observations. Number one, on these papers, the Supreme Court said, and I quote, and this is very important, it doesn't arouse our conscience enough to order a probe. Now tell me, Barkha, whose conscience is more purer than the Supreme Court's conscience? The six panelists that we are sitting over here or, or the Congress's conscience or talking the least Mr. Rahul Gandhi's conscience. When the Supreme Court after due diligence says no, nothing, our conscience is not even pricked so that we can order an investigation. Who is okay, Rahul then let Gandhi me take to this to Randeep and I want an investigation. Then Sohail, I know has been wanting to speak. Uh, uh, Randeep Surjewala, I think there is, I, I think if the court had not yet observed, made very serious set of observations on this material, the opposition would have been better placed to say order a probe. But if, on the, if in the absence of more material, and I'm not saying it may not come out, there could be more material that comes. But if this is the material and the court is saying, the highest court of the land, Randeep, is saying this is not good enough, does the opposition have a case? Uh, Barkha, Barkha, BJP is trying to, like a sinking person tries to hold at every straw, that's what BJP is trying to do. My friend is rightly saying, this is a technicality can never win over the truth and the truth is simple prime minister has to come forward and say he took the money or he did not take the money simple no, but every time and if he didn't asked, take the money let there be a probe I'm, and that's Randi, what all your Randi, panelists Randi, are Randi, saying every time I'm, 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 I'm told on twitter that I took a right to the border let's give an analogy from our own lives one minute see, that's, the problem. Let's, that's the problem that's the problem that's the problem of Sammet Patra no no my simple my simple question is that's the problem of Sammet Patra and unnerved uncultured person can only speak in this language don't get unnerved I'm speaking the truth don't be unnerved don't be angry don't Adhan use expletives. Sunye. Just Sunye. tell the truth. Sunye. 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 You are disturbed because I have taken Sonia Ji's name. Will Sonia Gandhi so, come and so, say tomorrow so do not whether get, she has received 15 to 16 lakh crore in August of Barkha, I, I think I, think I did not interrupt my Sambit friend when he was speaking. Sambit, this is not a tutu man show. Do not make it a tutu man show. Now can we move on to substantive issues, guys? Please. Yes, you do. We heard him patiently. You do. And I have a question for you. And I think the only I think the point is. Are you suggesting that every time no, an no, allegation is made, I'm coming, I'm coming, well, half a second, the Prime Minister, how do you want the Prime Minister to respond? Suppose the Prime Minister said, or, or the BJP said on behalf of the Prime Minister as they have, this is not true. Now, what would you say then? Because the BJP has said this is not true. Randeep? Barkha, in this case, 
these were not neither diary entries nor short form names okay they were simple papers and they were computers entries that were recovered emails and they were excel sheets all these were then put through the process of investigation i know but the there court. is something called section 131 of income tax act just give me one second one line okay 131 of income tax act the income tax officers have powers of the court so they examined the group companies officials and these documents and concluded on 27 february 2014 that what companies officials said was wrong and everything needs to be investigated yes supreme court in july 2014 orders hand over cbi should hand over documents to income tax by then government changes by this this is the order this is the order issued as a court of law exercising powers of the civil court by none less than a deputy director of investigation Very of the clear, of yeah, the Lawrence. income tax department okay. why should this not be investigated no. now, now we are not asking mr the... modi to step down there is a there is a moral legal ethical question here prime minister must answer I come forward and reply one minute, one minute. I and order an independent probe radeep i have to interrupt you now yogendra yadav please go ahead i think there's a very fair point here that is your uh, party's case is prashant bhushan's case weakened by the supreme court's rejection of this material as being basis to proceed yogendra i'm saying again and again please do not assume that the supreme court has given its final judgment yes. i'm sure mr samit patra does not wish to suggest Correct. that he has a full knowledge of what the supreme court is going to do next time after fresh material is to be placed before it i want to remind all of you that subsequent to all the observations that uh, mr samit patra is happily quoting Mr Prashant Bhushan has placed four volumes of additional new evidence before the Supreme Court in fact he wanted a little more time to study those uh, documents but the court has not yet discussed that evidence and in all fairness let us talk about supreme court's mind supreme court's observations only after all this has happened the question is are we looking at some frivolous allegations uh, barkha you were probably about to mention something about your own case where people make all kinds of allegations yes. i completely understand you what are we looking at are we looking at some allegations made on twitter or some such some person forging i mean i can always write it something on my own computer yes. and say i paid 2 million dollars to bill clinton and things of that sort are we looking at that kind of a document i just want to remind you and all the viewers of what we are looking at there is a raid that takes place on birla and again on sahara the raid reels papers the papers we are looking at are not photocopies made by someone these papers have signatures of the income tax officers who went on to that raid subsequent to the raid there were investigations and interrogation in the case of birla papers where all the material was verified and found to be credible where the explanations given by these employees of the birla company were found to be non credible and and these are papers which do not simply mention Barkha. names okay. it also says who paid the money on which date in which city all this is mentioned there to my mind this is not yet a conclusive evidence that the that the money was paid okay. but if you want to tell me Barkha. that all yeah. this is not sufficient to even initiate an investigation I you know we shocked. we have to shout on this I would be truly shocked be uh, also the fact that congress politicians are named in all the papers yes. to my Barkha, mind increases the credibility so of these questions. documents if allow, all the documents were only can i samit can you can you just listen to me if these documents named yes. only bjp politicians i would have been slightly concerned and said okay looks partisan yes. but the fact that it mentions all the politicians who have been talked about the fact that there was a discussion about jtax and it finds mentioned Prime here to my mind it leader. increases the credibility of that evidence exactly so okay, it, let me bring into, in suhail and, and jagannath so prime of ac there yeah. is credibility yes. and allow me to repeat once again notwithstanding any legal judgment 
there is a moral, moral question, question. Okay. and remember in the case of Beaufort's, in the case of Beaufort's, there was no such so legal it, judgment, so it was that moral question and okay. aren't we happy that it was asked? Okay, so Hale, I think there is a set of, there is an important point here that the papers do not just condemn, the, the alleged papers do not just condemn the BJP, they also actually reference the Congress's U UP chief ministerial candidate and the Congress has clearly decided to take that chance or maybe throw Sheila Dixit under the bus, metaphorically speaking, I don't know which one. But, so Hale, when Yogendra Yadav says if the allegations are bipartisan, if there is a set of documents, if there is a cloud over the appointment of a certain officer who was heading this probe, should there not be an investigation? Let's forget Rahul Gandhi. Let's forget the Tutu Meme between the BJP and the Congress. The Congress is also no, no, referencing these papers, so Hale. Yeah, yeah, first let me make a request to you. Please have quotas on your television programs because when you have political party spokespeople, the common man's voice is muzzled. <clears throat> okay, we are almost silent spectators. Having said that, in my opening remarks, I did say, and I repeat, that the Supreme Court is looking into the matter. The story isn't over. Let's wait for the story to be over because they will be far more believable than either the BJP or the Congress or the Trinamool or Yogendra Yadav's party, whatever it's called right now. Number two, the issue here is about flinging mud at every institution we hold dear. Forget the Prime Minister's office for a minute. Prashant Bhushan's in intervention in the Supreme Court from what, what one has read in newspapers, which by the way are not the most accurate medium today, seem to suggest that Justice Kerr was extremely pained mm. at both the innuendo and the insinuation. Why do we do this? You know, we have a decent, a, a, a respected, a believable Supreme Court. Why are we trying to inject both unbelievability and suspicion into every institution we hold dear? Okay. We did that when Manmohan Singh was in office. Yes. You know, you denigrated, you, you reviled, you derided the office of the Prime Minister. We need to stop this as a country. You know, Narendra Modi will answer when he chooses to answer. He will not answer when Rahul Gandhi wants him to answer or when Mamta Banerjee wants him to answer or when I want to him Augusta to answer. Westland also. So let's uh, so just Hale, calm down. The same Wait. Because, because the BJP of today course. said that the family, I've always said, of the course it family is implicated. The Gandhi family, can we just uh, go, go to the graphic please? The Gandhi family is implicated, Sohail. So therefore, would you apply the same standard to both <clears> of these parties? Because there's of an Augusta course. Westland series of allegations also, of based course, also on a I've set of papers. Of course, I couldn't be bothered, Barkha, Barkha, I couldn't be bothered about the BJP or the Congress or the Trinamool. My request is, please don't make allegations against anyone in this country if there is a legal okay. process Okay, let me get Dinesh Trivedi and Because the legal process is what is most believable given the agendas that are in circulation. Simple Dinesh, logic. Dinesh Trivedi, why does, the, why does Mamta Banerjee want a probe when the case is already in the Supreme Court? And isn't this actually not helping your protests on demonetization at all? We have suddenly all forgotten demonetization. We have forgotten that the RBI today reversed its own circular on the 5,000 rupee deposits uh, you know, after huge public backlash. How is this even being a smart opposition? Suddenly the whole demonetization debate is forgotten. Uh, nothing gets forgotten when the poorest of the poor are in pain. So it can be forgotten on television studios, but not really Correct. on the ground. Now, having said that, when you talked about Reserve Bank, it has become Reverse Bank of India. So as I was telling you earlier, that credibility of institutions are losing face, which is very bad for democracy in India. I feel India has a lot of talent. And, have, uh, and to answer your question, as uh, our spokesperson Derek O'Brien had mentioned today, that on 2nd of December 2014, the TMC members of parliament had gone out and protested outside parliament with a red diary and they wanted the details of it to yeah. be probed. Yeah. So I don't think so. TMC is coming up with something very new. It has been there. And as far as probity is concerned, no, I would like to No, but the Trinamool was also so beset hey, by the that, sting that, operations, that the Narada, Banerjee who started the investigation See, in the their problem own is affairs. That the, problem, the problem is that almost every party 
in mainstream politics has been implicated in no, some sort of corruption allegations. So right now people are so quite cynical may I, may about... May I answer yeah. that? May I answer that? Yes. Uh, because may I answer which that? Which includes the Trinamool. Who, may I remind you that it includes who, the Trinamool Party? Arrested? Yeah, can I answer that if you give me one minute? Yes. Who arrested the culprit? It was the Bengal police who arrested, the Calcutta police arrested. Who came up with a new law in the chit fund? It was the Bengal yeah, assembly under the leadership of Mamta Baraji. So, so, and you asked today, I don't have to do anything. Nobody has to get a certificate from anybody. You ask a common man anywhere in the okay, country Okay, so Sohail wanted to world, come in briefly, the then our Jagannath and then Sambit. So, Sohail, so you wanted to come in briefly on that to Dinesh? <coughs> Very quickly, Dinesh. Yes, Bengal police arrested the gentleman, but the gentleman belonged to a political dispensation. The point is, the believability quotient of most political parties suffers when the vice president and the future heir or the future leader of, of the grand old party makes comments like this. People then want to know if or not it's believable. A, B, I will rest, as I've said earlier, with just one last comment. These matters are to be reflected upon, not in television studios and in public rallies, but as Randeep and Sambit said, these are serious allegations. They must be treated seriously. They must be addressed seriously by people who are serious. And to my mind, the only believable institution today is that of the Supreme Court of India so and I, the judiciary at large. So, so let's wait for closure there without jumping to conclusions okay. which are meaningless. Le le let me go to R. Jagannathan on this. The, you know, what's interesting is that Ravi Shankar Prasad today did uh, talk about the Augusta Westland case. And uh, uh, we've all seen those papers, the Guido Hashke diary entries allegedly again, which have entries like AF for F4 supposedly, FAM for family supposedly, AP for Ahmed Patel supposedly. There we've also seen denials come in from the Congress and all of these uh, 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 groups that have been named. But the BJP has said that the Gandhi family uh, is being implicated in Augusta Westland case. Now, the Congress could turn around and say, uh, uh, Mr. Jagannathan, that if you believe those diary entries, how can you dismiss? How can you dismiss these ones? So, is there a problem here with this double speak, R. Jagannathan? Yes. See, I think there are uh, two issues here. One is political parties. Uh, I think keep throwing uh, corruption charges at uh, each other. And uh, they catch the end of a dog's tail and try and presume the rest of the dog is there. When actually all that you've got is a little bit of evidence that might point in some direction, but you are not able to connect the dots and gather the yeah. evidence to actually prove your point. Yeah. Now, more specifically, uh, we do not know whether the uh, corruption charges that were proved in Italy yes. are going to stick here because we can't connect the dots between what happened there and who received the bribes here. Yes. Only thing we know is that somebody did receive the bribes. Yeah. Now, as far as the uh, corruption charges uh, or rather the bribes supposedly paid to BJP and other parties are concerned in the Birla raids, whatever, yeah. the question really is if Prashant Bhushan, as Yadav says, has given, given about four volumes of uh, proof, yes. I'm sure the Supreme Court will look at all of them and look at the uh, possibility that those dots connect Correct. somewhere where it needs a deeper investigation. Okay. So there is no particular point in us trying to say Can that, I? okay, the PM must resign, this, that. this yeah. is all ridiculous. Hmm. Sabe, let me bring you in. What for you, I know that there is an Italy High Court judgment that certainly established that there was corruption, that there were payoffs, and that did not give a clean chit to politicians in the Augusta Western case. More recently, on a technical ground, there has been a retrial uh, uh, in that case. The Congress could turn around to you, Sambit, and say, how can one set of papers have greater value than the other set of papers? If diary entries, scribbled notes, references are to be rejected in this case, then you must reject them in Augusta. The Congress would argue that. What would you say to them? No, no. These arguments are not so simplistic as we are trying to make it out in a debate. Let me go to both the cases, to the Augusta Westland, as well as some answers that really need to be answered over here. As far as the Augusta Westland case is concerned, remember it saw the fighting of a case in the Milan Appellate Court in Italy, which is equivalent to a High Court of India. So yeah. naturally I respect the judicial system of Italy as well, though it does not have a place in India, in the sense that it, cannot, it does not have a binding in India, but it is a respectable court. Mm -hmm. Remember there are corroborative evidences. It is not just AP written or the Indian political family, POL family written, that is binding. In fact, the corroborative evidences are such that, that in one place there there is a note exchanged between the middlemen which mentions that Sonia Gandhi is the driving force yes. that has been taken as an important issue. There's other place where in fact the, uh, 
Guido Hashki, when he was arrested and was placed in jail in Italy, he in fact has a conversation with his colleague, which is a transcript, which finds way as a evidence, which says that go and talk to, ask the Italian Prime Minister, Mr. Monti, the then yes, Prime Minister, the Mr. Monti, letter, yes. and the Ambassador, yes. yes, and the Ambassador to talk to Manmohan Singh, yes. so that they in fact do not cooperate with the Italian court and the Italian yes, court yes, does not come to know all about the truth. Yes. So these Yes, but the people should be made aware. Since you asked a question, yeah, so I said yeah. it is the not just an AP on the or the a political family. Talking, the documents you're talking yes. about in Augusta are yes. on the screen. I so, interviewed so the So now you should agree that I'm well prepared. Yeah. Yeah. Now number two. Yes, number two. Number two, the, this particular case, because this is extremely important, I want to keep the facts in front of the people. Yeah. The question of Mr. Uh, Yogendra Yadav, he's a very articulate spokesperson. I respect him and I want to get the thing clear. Mr. Yadav said that, look, Sambit Patra, you should not derive from the Supreme Court right now because the judgment is not out. It is just <coughs> an observation. And the story is not yet over. Yes. Sir, as far as the story is concerned, the story for the old evidences which were quoted by Rahul Gandhi today is over. Because the Supreme Court said nothing doing with this evidence, okay. this story is over. If you have new evidences, we will begin the new story. Okay. So presently, neither Mr. Rahul Gandhi nor you come up Let with new evidences. You are just playing okay. in the air, saying that, okay. well, the Supreme Yogi Court in the future Rani. may say something. Just okay. 10 more seconds. Okay. Just 10 more seconds because I have some this very is important, not true. Uh, important I just have to say here, something. Which the yeah. people should know. Yes. Just 10 okay. more seconds. Okay, Yogi 10 Yogi more seconds. I'm saying that I have to move on then. Otherwise, Suhail is already holding his head and yes. he beat me sure. up. Okay. Yeah. No, no, Suhail will not because I'm pe putting technical points okay, over Okay, okay, okay. Number one, huh. uh, this, this, this thing has been said that Modi ji's name came up, yes. so it is very important. Uh, yes. Remember, uh, if I'm wrong, please correct me, Yogendra yes. Yadav. Santi Bhushan ji said the exact words in the Supreme Court that Modi ji's name comes over here, to which the Supreme Court observed, I read, the entire world can be roped in if action was to be taken on such material. Any unscrupulous person can make such computer entries. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And these are not okay, the BJP's observations. You had a long say. Please, we are the last couple of minutes of the show. You gained Yadav. Go ahead, then Randeep, then Sunil. Barkha, I'm, yes. I'm sorry I have to interject because you uh, are showing documents onto this <laughs> long without, argument. Okay, okay, okay. I'm giving both of you a chance. Let you just come in, and then I'm coming to you right after that, Randeep. You ji, please. I'm very happy uh, BJP has brought in Augusta case because as far as the law of the land today, the evidence being presented in Augusta case is good enough to merit a very serious investigation. Okay. And to my mind, exactly the same applies. As far as I know, the Supreme Court of India has not changed its verdict on Jan Hawala case and in the Lalita Kumari case of 2014. In both these cases, okay. the Supreme Court has laid down clear norms about which cases merit investigation. Augusta falls in that. Okay. Birla Sahara fall in that. Okay. Unless the court changes its verdict. Okay. And I have already said Mr. Bhushan has given four volumes of additional evidence. Okay, additional I think evidence. Samit so there Patra is additional evidence is what correctly. you're saying. Okay. Additional Let, evidence the, has been placed. Uh, yeah, I have and to, observations do uh, not amount to judgment. Okay, uh, Randeep and then Sohail, we have to end after that. Randeep. Barkha, just because uh, Mr. Modi is being questioned, Bharatiya Janta Party is resorting to throwing allegations. Three very quick points. Number one, the same Italian court by which my friend swears in at nine different places says the family that is referred to in the so-called notes is the Tyagi family. So I think he should go back, read the judgment, and if he swears by it, then so be it. Number two, I have the judgment. In Augusta Westland's case, it is Congress party which lodged the FIR. Congress cancelled the contract. Congress blacklisted the company and what has Modi ji done in 30 months? Undone the blacklisting, did not permitting, blacklist the company. permitted did not Augusta blacklist Westland the company. to be part Wrong of Make in India. India, also permitted, please stop it because it's enough, you can't continue to interject, have, have some sense, this is not a Arnab Goswami show. you are putting show. wrong facts, sir. No, 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 yeah. you are putting wrong so, show, So please sir. understand, the Republic let's, of let's the country. Have. Sambit, the Republic would like to know point. the truth. Sambit, let him finish his point. I will give you 20 seconds to rebut him. Randeep, complete your point. So, simple point is, you, you let them become part of Make in India, you let them become a subcontractor in a defense deal, you take no action for 30 months, and now you hide behind Augusta. Okay. Why can't Prime Minister, there is credible information available, the anchor of the show, 
all other guests are agreed that these are allegations which have prima facie evidence to be probed. Nobody is saying okay, that okay, PM let, should let, let resign. Let's come in on that. Let's Nobody is saying that PM should that. step down. Let's Sambit, although, seconds. although in such a case, uh, none so less than so his patriarch, Lal Krishan Advani ji, had resigned and had yes, until the unless Hawala case. Was yes, we know. In okay, the okay. Hawala case. Now I drew. I'm sorry. I have a clock to follow here. Subject himself to independent. I have a clock to follow here. I'm really over time, short over time. Sambit, 20 seconds is promised, and Sohail, 15 seconds is the closing word, and then we have to close. Sambit. Uh, some misfacts that were put by Randeep Surjewala needs to be corrected. Number one, they did not blacklist the company. It was the Bharati Janata Party government which blacklisted the Augusta Westland company. Without going into the details of Augusta Westland case, because SP Tiagi also has pointed his fingers yes. towards the then PMO. So I believe not much is to be said. The consequences would gradually follow. Okay. Law will take its own course. As far as this case is concerned, I still maintain, I don't understand why the Congress does not understand that the credibility of Supreme Court is being questioned by Supreme uh, by, by Mr. Rahul Gandhi, okay. by his Google, Google no, speech. No, Yogendra just know? told us the there is court has evidence, so we will wait to see what the court no, says. I think no, that, that no, is no. fair to conclude Mr. that. Mr. Yogendra Yadav has to be... No, no. I, I, I'll remind Mr. Yogendra Yadav of a very important technicality. technicality Mr. Yogendra Yadav from the very beginning, okay, from very end. beginning, just a second, from very beginning, from very beginning, Mr. Yogendra now, Yadav has been talking about the Jain Hawala case. Yes. About the Jain Hawala case. The exact argument was put by Shanti Bhushan ji that Jain Hawala case should be taken as a, a, okay. a case which okay. the Supreme Court should May, follow you in know, this. This can, go on, this can go on forever. This can go on forever. I, I, I'm Bhushan really sorry. Had to hold a press conference. Sambit, I really have to close this. So, hail 10 seconds. Yeah, you know, the office of Rahul Gandhi will always be slightly less important than the office of the Prime Minister. One is an office, one is an institution. No matter which man or, or woman occupies that office, <clears throat> we must treat it with some dignity. A, B, both Randeep and Sambit, to my mind, have made allegations on two issues. Both those issues, to my mind, are under legal scrutiny. Why can't we be dignified and wait for that legal scrutiny rather than score political brownie points usurp the time meant for common citizens like us on television programs and create a cacophony which takes us nowhere. Okay, we have to leave it there. Yogendra Yadav says Prashant Bhushan has placed four volumes of evidence. I guess the last word then on this debate will belong to the Supreme Court of India and not to the television anchors or the political spokespersons of different parties. Thanking our panel tonight. Thank you for joining us on the Buckstop Center.